consistent reports from witnesses to the effect that people who acted as though they were in a kind of trance were killing and eating their victims prompted authorities to examine the bodies of some of the victims. Medical authorities in Cumberland have concluded that in all cases, the killers are eating the flesh of the people they murdered. Repeating this latest bulletin just received moments ago from Cumberland, Maryland, civil defense authorities have told newsmen that murder victims show evidence of having been partially devoured by their murderers. Medical examination of victims' bodies shows conclusively that the killers are eating the flesh of the people they kill. And so this incredible story becomes more ghastly with each report. It's difficult to imagine such a thing actually happening, but these are the reports we have been receiving and passing on to you, reports which have been verified as completely as is possible in this confused situation. It is happening, and it would appear that no one is safe from this wave of mass murder. <laughs> A radio. County, Pennsylvania. The Butler County Sheriff is verified by their slayers is true. No further details available at this time. However, my well, you guys been down there. I could use some help up here. That's the cellar. It's the safest place. You mean you didn't hear the racket we were making up here? How were we supposed to know what was going on? Could have been those things for all we knew. That girl was screaming. Sure, you must know what a girl screaming sounds like. Those things don't make any noise. Anybody would know somebody ever needed help. Look, it's kind of hard to hear what's going on from down there. We thought we could hear screams, but for all we knew, that could have meant those things were in the house afterward. And you wouldn't come up and help? Well, if there were more, the racket sounded like the place was being ripped apart. How were we supposed to know what was going on? Now, wait a minute. You just got finished saying you couldn't hear from down there. Now you say it sounded like the place was being ripped apart. It would be nice if you get your story straight, man. All right, now you tell me. I'm not going to take that kind of a chance when we got a safe place. We luck into a safe place, and you're telling us we got to risk our lives just because somebody might need help, huh? Yeah, something like that. All right, why don't we settle this, Look, this Mister? We came up, okay? We're here. Now I suggest we all go back downstairs before any of those things find out we're in here. They can't get in here. You got the whole place boarded up? Yeah, most of it. All but a few spots upstairs. They won't be hard to fix. You're insane. The cellar's the safest place. I'm telling you, they can't get in here. And I'm telling you, those things turned over our car. We were damn lucky to get away at all. Now, you tell me those those things can't get through this lousy pile of wood? His wife and kids downstairs. Kids hurt. Well, I still think we're better off up here. We could strengthen everything up, Mr. Cooper. With all of us working, we can fix this place up in no time. We have everything we need up here. We can take all that up downstairs with us. Man, you're really crazy, you know that? You got a million windows up here. All these windows, you're gonna, you're gonna make them strong enough to keep these things out, huh? I told you those things don't have any strength. I smashed three of them and pushed another one out the door. Did you hear me when I told you they turned over our car? Oh, hell, any good five men can do that. That's my point. Only there's not going to be five or even ten. There's gonna be twenty, thirty, maybe a hundred of those things. And as soon as they know we're here, this place is gonna be crawling with them. Well, if they're that many, they'll probably get us wherever we are. Look, the cellar. The cellar, there's only one door, right? Just one door, that's all we have to protect. Tom and I fix it so it locks and boards from the inside. But up here, all these windows, why, we'd never know where they were going to hit us next. You got a point, Mr. Cooper. But down in the cellar, there's no place to run to. I mean, if they did get in, there'd be no back exit. We'd be done for. Uh... We can get out of here if we have to. And we got windows to see what's going on outside. But down there, with no windows, if a rescue party did come, we wouldn't even know it. But the cellar is the strongest place. The cellar is a death trap. I don't know, Mr. Cooper. I think he's right. You know how many's out there? I don't know. Maybe, maybe six or seven. Look, you two can do whatever you like. I'm going back down to the cellar, and you better decide. Because I'm going to board up that door, and I'm not going to unlock it again, no matter what happens. Now, wait a minute, Mr. Cooper. No, I'm not going to wait. I've made my decision. Now, you make yours. Now, wait a minute. Let's think about this. We can make it to the cellar if we have to. And if we do decide to stay down there, we'll need some things from up here. So let's at least consider this a while. You box yourself in the cellar and those things get in the house, you've had it. At least up here you have a fighting chance. 
Yeah, it looks like about eight or ten out there now. There's more than there were. There are a lot out back, too. up here too because if I stay up here I'm fighting for everything up here and the radio and the food is part of what I'm fighting for now if you're going down the cellar get the man's insane he's insane we've we've got to have food down there we've got a right this your house we've got a right you going down there with him well uh, yes or no this is your last chance no beating around the bush well listen I got a kid down there she she can't bust I couldn't bring her up here she can't possibly take all the racket and those those things smashing through the windows. Well, you're her father. If you're stupid enough to go die in that trap, that's your business. However, I am not stupid enough to follow you. It is tough for the kid that her old man is so stupid. Now, you get the hell down in the cellar. You can be the boss down there. I'm boss up here. You bastards. You know, I won't open this door again. I mean it. Mr. Cooper, with your help, we can... With my help. Let him go, man. His mind is made up. Just let him go. Wait a minute. Judy, come on up here, honey. You're gonna let them get hurt, too, huh? It's all right, honey. Go ahead. places we can run to up here. Mr. Cooper, we'd all be a lot better off if all three of us were working together. Hey. Hey, kid. He's wrong, you know. I'm not boxing myself in down there. This radio station will remain on the air day and night. 